back to the, the channel, channel guys. <laughs> we are so excited to be back. We have just packed our bags and we're headed yeah. somewhere for the weekend. Much deserved, much needed because we have not taken a little yeah. bit of a break in a while no. since the move. No, it's, uh, we're heading to York, so we're going there for three days, two nights. Got a load of stuff planned, it's going to be fun. But uh, yeah, we got we got to make a move. Our train leaves pretty soon. Yeah, we have a train. We're going to visit York. As George says, it's bright and early. If you can't tell by our faces, we look <laughs> a little tired, but we're really excited. It's been a bit of a rush. We're really excited to head to York and to see everything that there is to do in York because we've never gone really north of London besides Scotland before. Yeah, no, no, we haven't. So. so Stay tuned for this vlog because we're going to take you through our time in York and we're really excited to show you what we get up to. A little staycation. <laughs> Let's go. We're so excited. We are staying in the Grand York Hotel and we want to give you a little bit of a room tour because, I mean, you need a room tour, right? So you gotta check this out. Yeah, let's do a little room tour. So, welcome to our room. Yeah, it's good. Um, we have a really nice hotel. It's huge. We got like a cool coffee area and tea, which is like standard. Mm -hmm. We'll get to the bedroom in a sec, but this is the bathroom. We have such a nice bathroom. So there's a shower here, and then look at this bath. It's actually really cute. It's huge, oh, yeah. Okay, let's get in. So yeah, we actually have like a big bath. We are definitely shower. That today, for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, love a good rain shower. And then yeah, this is our big lovely bed. <laughs> Is it comfortable? Yes. You guys. And? And the Grand York was really sweet and they left us some bubbly. So we are definitely gonna pop into that. Dip into that. Basically guys, that is our room tour. The Grand York <laughs> looks amazing. We're so excited to be cool. here. And excited to finally have a weekend away. As you guys probably saw in the last vlog, you would have seen our apartment or flat is a complete tip. It's just, well it's, yeah, it's... <laughs> coming together. 80% there, but it's just nice to get away because we need some space. Yeah, <laughs> and I flat. think, like, if you know George and I, like, travel is everything to us. And so any opportunity we have to take a little bit of a trip, a lot of weekends, yeah. making the most of it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's fun. We got we got some cool stuff planned. We've got, like, mini golf, chocolate tasting, York Minster. Man, we got a ton of stuff to do. We have, like, a horror tour tomorrow, which I'm oh, yeah. really excited for. So, yeah, so really excited for this video. Really excited to show you guys around a new area area because like it's gonna be said, fun i've never been to york have you yeah no no nah, it's gonna it's gonna be fun to explore together see what's yeah, there yeah i'm sorry what what we've got some milk chocolate buttons can't complain no, be good oh tonight. my gosh i know what i'm snacking on this evening you guys how cute is this so cute it has like a whole picture of the hotel on the front I love chocolate buttons, so these are definitely going to be consumed this evening after we make a little dent in our champs. So, we are at York Minster. Guys, I'm just gonna, George will pan it up, but literally this building is so old. It's one thing that gets me about England, okay, and we're talking quiet because we're in a park. The one thing that gets me about England is that it's so old. Every building here dates back hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. It's, older than America. It's so it's older than my country, and the buildings are so stunning. So he's gonna flip the camera and show you because it's absolutely beautiful. Check this out. So we're here at York Minster and so we just made it to York Minster and look inside you guys, it's absolutely stunning. Yeah, this place is huge. 
That is so if pretty. You can see the detail. I don't know if George can show you it, but the details on the sides. Absolutely stunning. And look at the stained glass on this side. If it focuses in, so beautiful. What are you doing, eh? when I said that everything in England is old. <laughs> yeah. That's how old it is. So and look at how stunning. It's impressive how long it's been there. You guys, I absolutely love churches. There's just something about them that is so quiet and peaceful, but the detail in here, like if you look at the archways and the detailing of how intricate each piece of stone is, and then the stained glass, mm. of Harry Potter. Diagon Alley. Yeah. Okay guys, we're about to do some mini golf at yeah. Hole in the Wand. Uh, Alright right, guys. We just got back from mini golf. It was actually really, really fun. We tried to vlog a little bit, but it was actually kind of dark in there. So I'm not so sure how that footage turned out, but we had a lot of fun. We actually really love mini golf, George and I. The two of us make it like a fun little competition. As I'm sure if you're in a relationship, you probably do the same. Tell me won. Yeah, guess who won, guys. <laughs> guess who won. Not this guy. Me! <laughs> I only won by two though, but we got like these drinks as a present. I'll show you for like winning. It was very Harry Potter-esque. I got Serpent's Venom, which is just the snake one, Slytherin, I guess. And what did you get, George Hunt? George um, I believe it was the unicorn one where I can speak to unicorns. Or yeah, something. oh, that's so <laughs> fitting because you're so sweet. Anyways, we're back at the hotel room now. We are just going to chill for a second and get ready, and then we're going to go out to dinner. I'm really excited for dinner tonight because it's supposed to be an amazing, amazing restaurant. So we'll take you with us and we'll check it out. I haven't eaten anything today besides breakfast, so definitely excited for dinner. So we're eating at Los Moros, which is a African, modern North African kitchen. So I'm super excited um, because the food looks bomb. So yeah, we're gonna get dressed and then we will head out to dinner. All right, guys. So George just had a nice little nap. I am not gonna change even though I packed like a really cute outfit for dinner I decided to stay in what I was wearing today because it's just comfortable and it was really cold out So I'm honestly just gonna stay in my blazer. I have this bodysuit from Zara pants from Zara my Gucci belt my blazer and then my Nikes, but as they call it in the UK, Nikes. So super casual outfit. I think our dinner tonight isn't like crazy fancy. George convinced me to book in <laughs> massages. Um, a little bit of a splurge. I kind of have this thing where like I can tell. She's tight. <laughs> no, I'm really frugal with my money. And honestly, I just didn't feel like the, not, not to like say anything bad about the spa. It could be really good. But you know when you can tell when it's a good spa, like you can just tell if it's good or if it's bad. And I just didn't have the best vibes and I didn't want to spend my money if I felt that way, but he convinced me because we've been working really hard. Yeah, I mean like if you're gonna spend money on a massage, you might as well do it when you're staying at a spa. Yeah. So, so otherwise we're never gonna do it, you know what I mean? It's just not gonna happen. Yeah, so. and to be fair, we honestly have had a pretty stressful like 
two, two weeks. weeks. Yeah. So intense. we deserve a massage. So that's why we're gonna just treat ourselves. <laughs> and so yeah, we booked in massages for tomorrow, which I'm excited about. But yeah, let's go get dinner. Let's do it. <laughs> so we're here at Los Moros. And this is the menu. Let's really yeah. order. We just ordered some yeah. yeah, we did. It's gonna be good. I'm excited. What else did we order? You ordered my shake. I ordered falafels. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be good. Cheers. Not sure if you can hear that in the background, but... A bath is being run. George is drawing us a bath. We bought a bottle of wine. We're gonna watch some TV. Yeah. Relax, because like I said before, I feel like I'm just getting old. Like, my whole body hurts after a whole day out. And we literally just had a discussion right now of how old Hannah is. Yeah. She's 26. Does anybody else ever do that? Like, honestly, I'm not even joking you. Maybe it's a quarter life crisis. I genuinely forget how old I am. Like, if someone asks me how old I am, I either think I'm 25 or 27 or 26. Like, I just don't really remember what exactly I am. But I guess we just worked out that I'm 26. Yeah, I'm lucky because I'm, oh, I'm, I'm 28. You're, yeah. I married a holly. We're so young. <laughs> I'm 26, but I turned 27 in like two months. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways, age, age is just a number. Age is just a construct. Yeah, yeah. who cares? <laughs> I mean, honestly, my best years were 22 and 23, like, thrived at that age. Um, so well, if you're a 22 or 23-year-old... <laughs> but then, do you know what? Like, once I've been speaking to people as well, like, they say the 30s are really good. Yeah, but, like... Because you actually have money. One, yeah, you're treated like an adult and you got money. Yeah. Whereas when you're in your 20s, you're not treated like an adult. And you, and you live paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're going to go enjoy our bath, enjoy some TV, yeah. relax. And tomorrow's a new day in New York, so... Yeah, it's going to be a busy can't. day. It's going to be fun. A lot of sights here, and I'm excited. Me too. It's going to be good. Love you. Let's go. Let's go. gonna be fun. life ever this morning guys so we woke up really really early and shot some footage this morning you would have seen some clips of like a very empty york because we like to shoot our photos when like literally no one is there but it's now 9 30 and george and i booked in massages and i'm so excited we have our like little robes on i love the robes that hotels give you because they're so soft and cozy look at george oh. <laughs> here we are oh, so it's gonna be good we are ready for our spa day i'm so excited so we've booked in two different massages george is getting which one are you the relaxing one i'm yeah. getting a deep one on my neck because i have a lot of knots to work out <laughs> um but we're really excited it's gonna be yeah. super super fun much needed after the week two weeks we've had yes time out. It's time to zen out. So we're heading out to get our massages now. Let's do it. <laughs>
So we just had the chocolate tour and it was really good. Yeah, the, the chocolate tea thing was so nice. They have different kinds, but we just ordered a hot chocolate. And we got it deluxe with marshmallows and whipped cream. It's going to be good. But the nice place about this is that all the chocolate bars are like single country, so the beans are mixed. Yeah. Yeah, so they really produce some like interesting flavors. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, so, whatever you want, you can try some chocolate before you come to the cookout. Yeah, definitely come. It's good. Yeah, we'll show you our hot chocolate. So, our hot chocolate just came. Yeah. And I'm a little scared. But we're in the queue with a bunch of people and it's gonna be fun. Yeah, we'll see how we We're gonna learn a lot and hopefully it won't be too scary. Probably not, hopefully. Not. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. But welcome friends to the beating heart of the city of York. York is old. How old? Old. Proper old. Really old. <laughs> so old you wouldn't believe it. Imagine how old you are. Multiply it by <laughs> seven? I don't know. You look all right, but uh, it's creeping into the eyes a bit, isn't it? No offense. It comes from us all. But yes, York is old, old, world, old, old. Thousands upon thousands of years of history. We've been known over the years as York, Yorvik, Ethelric, Eva Arkham. At one point in the middle of it all, we were called Yerk with an E. We decided that wasn't a very nice sound. Where do you live? Yerk. We make it sound a bit nicer when you live. Which was a disease of the blood. It got into the bloodstream, it turned the blood against the body, and the only thing they knew to do to make it better was to take all the blood out, give it a boil wash and a scrub, and then put it back in again. Weirdly, no one survived that one. <laughs> and a couple of young fiends, young ne'er-do-wells, attached themselves to him. And as he snakes his way through the city, he knew they were following him. And they shortened the distance, it got closer and closer. So, we just had to run to make it here on time before it closed. They ordered the like four minutes. Yeah, we, like, they closed at 10 and it's like four minutes too, so we made it. But we got some good food coming and yeah, it's gonna be good. And I got a quick beer. Oh, it's, it's gonna be good. <laughs> Morning guys, we are up bright and early. It is our last full day today in York and George and I woke up very early to have breakfast this morning and then we actually went along the York City walls which are just outside our hotel which is so convenient and we got some really really pretty photos and it was just really nice today because it's actually sunny as you can tell. Lighting isn't the best right now. I should probably close that curtain <laughs> but we were able to basically get some really beautiful photos of York just outside our hotel. But yesterday we went shopping. We did a little bit of shopping and I don't think I showed you guys, but I picked up a reed diffuser for our new flat from the White Company because they have a scent that I really, really love, which I actually bought a candle for my stepmom from there for Christmas and she loved it but I will show you. It's the Blanc Reed Diffuser with Geranium, Juniper, and Patchouli, and it smells so good. I really like the candle, but unfortunately they're sold out of the candle right now, so I went for the Reed Diffuser instead. George and I are just relaxing. We're gonna head out and check out of the hotel today around 11, and then our train heads home back to London at four, so I think the plan is to just 
chill in the room, pack up our stuff a little bit, and then we're gonna do some shopping because it's actually George's dad's birthday today and we need to go get him a gift. And then I'm debating also getting a bougie candle from Joe Malone, obviously. But just a little bit of shopping and just hanging out. We had a really great weekend. It was exactly what we needed. We haven't been away in so long, it feels like. And I think just staying in a hotel, visiting a new city somewhere that we'd never seen before, but we've heard a lot about was really awesome and relaxing. Yesterday, our massages were just so good. And I think after that, we both were in a, just this whole state of relaxation for the rest of the night and evening. So yeah, so far it's been an amazing trip and we're really sad that we have to head home. Yeah, I'm going to wrap up, finish packing up the room, and then we're going to head out for today and get some lunch and do a little bit of shopping before we have to head out and take the train home. That's very pretty. Guys, look at these owls. Whoa. Look at his feet. The little baby one.